And tonight we're learning new details about the extensive criminal history of the young man suspected of killing Officer Carrasco. CBS 47's investigative reporter Madaris Babb continues our team coverage. Court documents sharing the lengthy criminal past of 23-year-old Nathaniel Dixon of Selma. Documents state in 2019, Dixon was convicted of second-degree felony robbery. He stayed in the jail until July 2020 and then was released on probation. The Fresno County Sheriff's Office says a month after his release, Dixon was rearrested for carrying a loaded gun and possession of drugs. The Sheriff's Office says the drug charge qualified for zero-dollar bail, meaning he only had to put up $10,000 on the other charge to walk out. On the 19th of August 2020, Dixon arrested again, this time for several felonies. The court documents showed Dixon was charged with five felonies in total and one misdemeanor. According to the complaint, those charges include possession of meth, being a felon with a firearm, and resisting a police officer. Dixon stayed in the jail until April 2022, almost two years. Then the sheriff's office says he was transferred to the state prison. Because of credits for time served in Assembly Bill 109, Dixon was released on probation. Legal analyst David Mugridge says AB 109 was passed because of prison overcrowding. Where we have started releasing large numbers of inmates and it'll continue to uh, occur unless and until uh, that legislation is reversed. And I know there's some ongoing discussions right now about maybe we've gone too far too fast uh, and they may decide to rescind the uh, provisions of 109. Once Dixon was released, he was put on probation. The sheriff's office says in November 2022, he was rearrested and spent two more weeks in the jail. He was released and then on January 31st, 2023, he was rearrested, this time for murder and a number of other charges for the death of Selma police officer, 24-year-old Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. Mugridge says this time some of the charges qualify for special circumstances, meaning the district attorney will likely ask for life in prison or the death penalty. Uh, even if the district attorney decides to go for the death penalty, we are now in a state where the governor of the state of California, uh, Governor Newsom, in his wisdom, has decided, I don't care how many death verdicts you get, I'm not going to allow you to execute people. Dixon is expected to be in court on Friday. Medeiros Bab, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.